Okay, so just because I have ChatGPT on here doesn't mean that you can't use Anthropic. No, it worked totally fine. You could, you could, you. There's alternatives to everything, right? So you could go to ChatGPT and say, "Oh, what are the alternatives to this tool?" And then, oh, "What are the pros and cons? What does it do? What does it not do compared to the rest?" You know, that that's something you can very easily do. Uh, I think it's smart for you to do that in order to know what's available on the market because there are a ton of things available on the market. So I'm going to talk about just certain ones just to keep the discussion easy, but there's a lot of choice out there. Okay, so let's look at this mind map um, and um, highlighting in the mind map uh, certain things. So in this case, code implementation and documentation, uh, we're dealing with software developers here. Again, this is a mind map of all the different kinds of tasks that the software developer uh, deals with. And then what I'm showing in here is that I'm highlighting certain tools that help with certain tasks. Gen AI plays a significant role uh, in both code implementation and documentation. Uh, and our developers make extensive use of GitHub Copilot and it excels in inline code suggestions, completing functions, generating basic documentation directly within the IDE based on uh, prompts and the surrounding code context. So it's a very, very popular tool. It's very empowering for every developer, um, uh, business leaders. You, you, you've got to adopt something like this. It'd be crazy not to. And it significantly accelerates coding tasks by providing relevant code completions and reducing boilerplate work across various languages and frameworks. Um, I also want to mention Cursor. Uh, Cursor is something newer, and it's gaining traction as an alternative to Copilot. Uh, it offers some advantages. It's, it's not like world's different or world's better. It's, it's got some advantages. It offers faster code-based searches and more accurate multi-file uh, editing, making it uh, particularly uh, effective for navigating large projects and refactoring code bases. And um, one thing I like about Cursor just um, qualitatively is that um, it it's kind of has its own ID. You know, it has its own native IDE uh, rather than um, Copilot, which kind of uh, integrates with all your existing IDEs. Now, I've also uh, highlighted ChatGPT. So our developers also frequently use ChatGPT, even though we have Copilot. And uh, ChatGPT is highly effective for explaining complex code concepts, generating code from scratch based off of natural language prompts, and providing detailed debugging assistance. Now. Um, while ChatGPT offers broader technical insights and reasoning, it lacks uh, tight IDE integration and real-time code context awareness that Copilot and Cursor could give you. And so it's less suited, it's not really well suited for direct uh, in-editor coding type of support. Um, but sadly, none of these tools excel at generating documentation that effectively conveys the coder's intent. That's the bad news, okay? Uh, with AI enabling developers to produce code far more rapidly, the volume of code generated can create a significantly greater maintenance burden for human developers. And uh, AI tools can't fully compensate for this increased complexity because they actually lack a true understanding of long-term design principles. They lack of understanding of architectural consistency. And they also have no idea what's the deeper intent behind these coding decisions, right? And so the humans are still going to be very involved in maintenance, unfortunately. And there's going to be a lot more maintenance to be done. So for so while AI can assist with task-level suggestions and localized refactoring, it struggles uh, with enforcing maintainability patterns across entire systems or evolving code bases over time. And this makes it more critical than ever for developers to learn techniques for writing highly maintainable code uh, because uh, human expertise remains essential for long-term clarity, sustainability, and reducing technical debt. Um, so we do a lot to train our developers in coding technique because of this. And we're, we've always done this, but, but we have not stopped. And uh, uh, the rise of Gen AI 
Um, that's not uh, taken away the need to do that. It's actually kind of almost increased it because there's more more code to maintain. Now, uh, one of the things that um, uh, we have available just recently here is um, the coding technique training that uh, we've developed in-house um, that's uh, more extensive than um, the resources that are publicly available out there. Um, this is something I'm going to make available to all Agile Alliance uh, members. Uh, if you want to access this, um, where there's tons of uh, coding technique tips that are very, very practical things that your um, code mentors or code reviewers could use to uh, train people in writing really maintainable code, uh, you can email um, support at uh, edensoftlabs.com to request access and you can get access to this.